Hey, pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Borick, and this is going to be our latest edition of the Royal Take as we talk about our Royals taking down the Railers yesterday in a shootout on Anthony Gagnon's goal in the shootout that he slammed through the five hole of big time netminder Colton Ellis and our big time netminder Logan Flodell, who, as I've seen in some Royals groups, I agree with y'all, seemed to kind of get snubbed of one of the top three stars of the game yesterday. Because to me, he definitely was a star of the game, making key saves, as was Cole Nellis. That had kind of a back-and-forth uh, playoff atmosphere and a sense to it where the goaltenders were huge and it was kind of whatever goaltender stood on his head in the end, that team was going to win. And that's exactly what happened with a little help from his friend on um, the post. Logan Flodell got at the end there, and the Royals were able to capture the victory. As we recap... The goals of uh, Brett Bedoin scored and Reese Newkirk scored for um, the Wooster Railers. Uh, Bykoff had a beautiful snipe he got from Trevor Gooch. Garrett Cockrell had a beautiful pass. It was kind of a delayed give and go, as Kirk McDonald described in the postgame press conference to me, um, where he was able to get it across. Morrison was on a beautiful pass to Garrett Cockrell, and that's how he scored. And then, of course, Anthony Gagnon was in the shootout, and he was able to get it done. He also talked to me post game, and I asked him the question too about the comfortability of how good he is shooting the one timer on the power play and generating chances that way. And he said it's because he's done it at all different levels. He's been familiar in that spot when you got guys, well, obviously when Pritchard's out there, but when you got guys like Patty Bykoff and you got guys like Trevor Gooch, <clears throat> um, setting you up as, as well as Ebbing, uh, that's obviously going to go in tenfold uh, to be able to reach that high-level success point uh, when you're someone like Anthony Gagnon, who his top-tier thing is his shot, and he's obviously been bringing that with our Reading Royals. Something that I can only comment this far as is Kirk McDonald did say the Josh mm -hmm. Winquist trade, for people that don't know, is not completed yet. That's something that will get done before the trade deadline. We'll know more. That's all I can say, and we'll know more as time goes on. I just wanted to give you guys that information. But for me, the stars of this game that have to be grouped into one are the two goaltenders, because this did come down really to who the hell was going to be the best in the end. And it was Logan Flodell, who we grabbed for a very good rookie in Cam Strong, obviously. But you got to trade good for good, and Flodell's a guy that I think is going to take this by the bootstraps. I said that in the video when we acquired him. And there's nothing against Hulky. I really like Hayden Hulky as a goaltender. I think he's a good goaltender. It just seems like Fladell coming out of Acadia, he's a guy that made, um, in his AUS final, somebody um, messaged me, he made like 47 or 48 saves to win one of the games for Acadia up there. So he's a guy that's kind of just been on a different level as he's been ascending, where Hulky's just a really good goaltender. So they're still both very good to have. That's, what, that's just all my feels are on that. But I thought this was a great game played. It was a little bit loose with the puck. Uh, Kirk McDonald was right, I think, when he said there might have been a little bit tired legs. I even wrote that in my game notes at the end of the first period where I thought the Royals kind of lost the puck a little bit more. But at the same time, I thought the Railers, who were much better this month as well, were kind of giving it back. And it was just like I said, this ridiculous back and forth pace all game that Cole Nellis made huge saves. Logan Flodell made huge saves. There were huge block shots on both sides. There were huge miss nets on both sides. And it was basically, again, whatever goaltender faltered or not even faltered, but just gave in the third goal, that, that's how it was going to be over. And also, <clears throat> in conclusion, in this one, Kenny Hauser's goal was disallowed for goaltender interference by Trevor Gooch. It wasn't called on the ice, but if you look at the replay, Eric was saying you could see it. I, I looked at it. You can see it. So that's why that was disallowed. But the Royals win 3-2 to two in overtime anyway. They're going to take on the Wooster Railers again tomorrow in Wooster as they try to make it two in a row against a very hot club and six in a row total as the Royals have now won five straight games. Everybody have a great, safe, and pleasant day. Stay safe out there, and as always, enjoy the hockey, and let's go Royals. Peace out, everybody.